day I'm gonna do another Glossier makeup look. I went and bought a ton with my own money of their new products. I wish I could show you them all. Had a lot of new launches since I last did a video and now my Glossier bag is full. So I'm excited to do this. First of all, I wash my face with the Glossier exfoliating cleanser. Personally, I don't think it's that exfoliating, although it smells very medicinal. It's kind of a bit of a stronger smell. It definitely makes my skin feeling really, really clean, and I can totally see why it'd be good for acne. So I'm really enjoying it. It foams up to a nice lather. It also rates well on yucca. Um, oh, have I talked about yucca before? Am I about to put another person onto this? I'm obsessed with this app. It's taken over my life. I've put so many people on it. It is so addictive to scan all of your makeup products, skincare products, hair care products, everything you have, and it is shocking how much of it is so, so bad for you. So Yuka is a community-run app, so there's no profit, no one's saying, paying me to say any of this. You basically scan your beauty products, skincare products, or food products. What comes back is a score out of 100 telling you how good the product is for you. So it'll tell you if there's harmful ingredients in it. It kind of breaks it down in layman terms what the ingredients mean. And if it is really bad, it'll give you recommendations for other products that rated really well. So I've done a huge makeup skincare decluttering since I got this app. It's super eye-opening and now before I buy any product I scan it. Anyway, ramble, but um, I did want to share that this product is rated 93 out of 100. Excellent. Love it. Let's actually get into it. I've talked about this product so many times, but I'll never shut up about it because it is so good and I feel like it's wildly underrated and under talked about. It is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. I'm on my third bottle of this now, I think. And I have like combination oily skin and I use this all the time. So I'm gonna use it just like a pump, like that much on targeting kind of like the high points of my face here, my nose, high points of my forehead. Um, sometimes I'll just lather it all over because I love it and I love the feeling of it, but usually try to be more strategic with it. And the consistency of it feels like honey, like it feels thick and luxurious, but it gives you just really pretty glass skin look. And this scans on Yucca also very well, so I just love it that much more. A new product that I have yet to try is the Glossier Stretch Fluid Foundation. So I got the shade Medium Tan 2, which I hope is the right color for me. Looks like this. It says light to medium coverage, natural finish. Ooh, 90 out of 100. Shake it, I feel like that's just a natural thing to do. I'm gonna shut up and put this on my face. I'm gonna do two pumps because I'm feeling, feeling frisky. It feels very jelly, kind of. Oh God. <laughs> you can't win because when I go and try to shade match at Sephora, the, I swear to God, every like staff member that's helped me always misses. <laughs> and I feel like the lighting there in the store is actually not that great to clearly see. So I don't even really blame them. And I've had a more success just like shade matching based on images online, like shopping on their website. I guess it's kind of blending to my body. It feels really nice though. It feels very light. I also don't have Fuck, I don't have a mini mirror, I'm just realizing. So it's kind of, I'm using the viewfinder to see if I've blended it. I guess it kind of matches with my body, but wow, yeah, that, it feels super light. Like, I guess I wouldn't expect anything less from Glossy. I can't see them coming out with like a heavy, like glam foundation, but with two pumps, I feel like that looks really nice. I'm excited about that. Glossier Stretch Concealer. So this was like my holy grail concealer for a while. Then I ran out of it and I just like didn't repurchase and then they reformulated. And I think they made it more of like a dewy, creamy consistency, which is fine, but I don't know. Sometimes I find the creamy concealers crease really easily. So I'm not like overjoyed that they reformulated because I really liked the old formula. But let's test it out. First, let's scan on Yuka. Ooh, pour. What is in this? Polyethylene, moderate risk, may accumulate in the lymph nodes and liver and cause inflammatory reactions. Potential carcinogen, 
Yikes. They recommend the Tower 28 Serum Concealer as a close match to this. Okay. I got the shade Medium 1. I'm going to use my trusty Ride or Die Rare Beauty Concealer Brush because I think it gives the most full coverage. Oh, it's nice. It is very... Wow, that did a really good job. It is really reminiscent of the consistency of the old one. I think it's almost like thinner than the old one. Let's do my eyelid. Get where my nose is for redness. My chin. Yeah. Holy shit. This is really good. I don't know why I'm surprised because I like the old one, but like I didn't want to get myself excited about it if the reformulation was bad. Okay, Glossier. I got the shade swept and I, again, I hope I got the right one. Oh, it's rated as poor. <laughs> Um, some scary words I can't pronounce. Basically a silicone is in here and a potential allergen is in here and an irritant. So this might, I think, make you break out. If you're prone to that, use at your own risk. It's a little cutie. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first and I don't really know how much is too much because with the cloud paint blushes, it's like super pig pigmented so you don't need a lot. I'm just gonna start with this and use Use the same brush I did for foundation. Also my hair, ugh, I wish I had clips. I'm so unprepared for this video. My god. Excuse my mad scientist hair. That's what you get when you have curly hair. I like the consistency. I like how it just blended in really easily. Let me try the little bit of a nose thing. Again, I don't really have a nose contour brush with me because I am not home right now, but I shall squeeze like this and just wing it. I'm not mad at that. I could bring whatever's left over on my hand down my neck. And my skin just feels like super light still. I like it. It feels very natural. My only thing about this is I think I just prefer my bronzers in like a stick form where I can just go ch -ch -ch. So the fact you have to like squeeze it on your hand and like brush, blend, kind of a big effort. And it's not one of those things I think because bronzer's more precise where you could like dot this on your face. I mean you could, but I don't know, it's a bit risque. So I think I like the formula, I like the color. For me, the trade-off having it in this packaging might not be worth it. I could probably find a similar color in the packaging I like. Let's do blush. I have two glossy brush. Blah, 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 blah. I have two glossy brushes. Brushes. I have two glossy blushes. I didn't buy new ones for this because these last so long. I use Storm the most. It is like the most beautiful flushed. Like you just kind of went on a run and your cheeks are a little rosy color and I think it looks good in so many skin tones. And then I have Dusk which is more of a nude peachy color that um, I also love. You can see they're, they're both pretty flat. So I used Storm last time. I'm going to try using Dusk this time for a little variety. These I know, I, th I believe also rate poorly on Yuka. But yeah, it's more just like equipping you with the knowledge. You do what you want with it. For me, it's like the lip products and anything going near your eyes. I want to be as clean as possible just because that's like kind of like ingesting that. That is Dusk. It's a really pretty nudey and like slight peach undertone. I actually wear this color a lot to work because it's like a barely there color. And I know we're in the era of like really bright blushes and like overdoing it with blush, which I'm not saying I'm not all for that, but I don't know, something to be said with like a more neutral, barely there blush that I really like. And it blends so beautifully. Like I, I, these blush formulas are so good. So yeah, you could leave it like this. This is the shade Dusk. I'm a sucker for Storm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny bit of Storm on top. Oh God. 
That's what I'm saying, this packaging, like, it's so freaking cute, but it's, uh, okay, what cost? That's way too much, I did not need that much. I just feel like you end up wasting a lot of product. I'm just gonna do like a little pinch of it. Just a pinch. I'm gonna wipe off my hand, but I think that's all I need. I'm gonna use the swept bronzer actually on my eyes. So I might zoom you in a bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blendy blendy, like a little artiste and just put it on my eyes for some dimension, focusing it on the outer edge. And I also like to bring this like in and along my nose line here. And it's such a gel, like it blends into nothing. It's such a nice gel formula that it's kind of hard to overdo it. And then I'm gonna do the same on the lower lash line. While we're on eyes, I bought their number, what is this? Their number one pencil in the shade Frame, which is basically like a classic dark brown. But I feel like everyone needs a good classic dark brown liner in their collection. So how does this do on Yuka, you might ask? 40 out of 100, so poor as well. It has synthetic wax in it, which is a potential carcinogen. So not great. But the plan is to just put this on the outside of my eye and like blend it out. That was actually really, really creamy and nice to blend out. Let's try this eye. I'm gonna take Another Real Technique Techniques brush um, and take this flat edge and kind of blend it a bit. And I'm gonna blend it to like, oh, what is that? Oh, <gasps> oh my God. I didn't rinse my hands. Oh my God. Pause. I need to get a makeup wipe, hold on. Really creamy. I really like that eye pencil, it's super creamy. I really like the color. Not too light of a brown, it's like just dark enough where, but it's not quite black. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. The things I don't really like, I think I'm just gonna return at Sephora, but this is a solid like glide-on pencil that smudges out really well to have more of a smoky effect like I've done. I'm actually gonna take whatever's left over here and put it on the inner corner. I'm actually going to a concert tonight, so if it's a bit more smoky, that's okay with me. Okay, brows, let's do brows. My boy brow is well loved. This is my second tube of this. I get the shade brown, although they've come out, I think with a black brown, which I think would go better with my eyebrows because they're quite dark. But yeah, this is just a, such an easy one and done product. This is like the only thing I'll do with my brows. If I'm gonna do something, it'll just be brush it up with this. And I think I saw on their Instagram that they use the formula of this is like, the same ingredients as they use for mustache pomade. Take with that as you will. Okay. Cute. Before I move on to mascara, I'm gonna powder my under eyes. Although I'm quite impressed. Again, this concealer hasn't really creased on me yet and I'm very, very creasy, I think. Or that sounds weird. I'm very, very <laughs> prone to creasing. And I didn't get the Glossier powder. I did, they didn't have it in stock, so just ignore that I'm using a different powder to set my under eyes. And then Lash Slick. I use this mascara a few times now, so it's nothing new to me. I think it's a really great everyday natural mascara. Separates, it lengthens. For me, I'm already quite blessed with long eyelashes so I typically look for mascaras that are gonna be more like volumizing. This is less that. It's a really good solid everyday mascara for nothing crazy. How does it scan on Yuka though? 45 out of 100 on Yuka. It's rated poor because it has a potential allergen irritant in it which is used in cosmetics as a preservative to prevent growth of microorganisms. It's regulated in Europe Union at a maximum of 1%. Mascara is what I'm learning through this app is like 
so hard to find a mascara that's truly clean and a ton of the shit at Sephora that is like marketed as clean to us is not clean. So it's really interesting, or at least I find it interesting. I'm gonna like wiggle at the base and go outward is kind of my strategy. Like that's pretty crazy. And that's just one coat. Other side. And then let's do the lower lash classic one and done mascara. And the packaging is adorable as usual. I'm gonna go back in, I know, with my future do. I like to begin my makeup with it, but also end it in the high points. So again, I just take a bit on my finger. I rub them together and I just add it as my highlight here for again that glass skin effect. And then whatever's left over, I just like put on my chest and my whole body. I guess all that's left to do is lips. So two lip products from Glossade that I use kind of on the daily, I would say. This Generation G lipstick is so good. The color is fuzz and it is the perfect your lips but better shade for me. Really like the packaging. A beautiful reddish nude. It's like more of a matte formula if you're not familiar. They also have the Ultra Lip, which I also own. Um, then use my other video if you want to see how that performs, but it's more of a dewy, lighter formula. It is so soft and cushiony and gorgeous. I love her. This unfortunately doesn't rate very well on Yuka, which is sad. Lip products are really hard to find clean, and this isn't clean, so that's sad, but I'm gonna use it up. It just kind of smooths, it blurs your lips. It's a comfortable, truly a comfortable matte, which I feel like is hard to achieve. Then, let's talk about their bomb.com reformulation. <sighs> their old bomb.com was quite literally my favorite lip balm ever. So I was super, super sad to see that they reformulated. The formula just isn't the same. It's less hydrating and I feel like you put it on and then 20 minutes later, you feel like you have to reapply. Like it's, it's, it doesn't have great staying power. Anyway, going back to Christmas time, I guess they heard the community being like, the new formula sucks, bring back the old formula. And they brought back the old formula for a uh, limited time for the, like their Christmas lip balm drop. I'm not super into lip products that have strong smells, especially when it's like candy or sweet-like. I know a lot of people like that. I personally don't. So my con against this is that it just smells a lot like hot chocolate and sweet. But I knew that. It's the title of the product. I do really like the tint it gives. They, they're actually calling it like a hot chocolate lip, this kind of tint. I'm happy I have this because it's the original formula and I love it and it gives a very pretty sheen, a very pretty glow to your lips, but it's not like a gloss and it's super moisturizing and I miss the original formula. So this is kind of my last hurrah of it unless they bring it back per permanently, which gloss say if you're watching this, I hope you do. I think that's the finished look. This is what I ended up with. Very simple everyday makeup, just like the whole brand of Glossier and Bodies. Um, it's fresh. I feel like the lip brings a little bit more of a going out look to it because it's a bit deeper and same with the liner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am a huge fan of Glossier on a whole. I'm really impressed with these two products, the foundation and the concealer really just gave me a very natural satin finish glow without being too oily or too matte. Like it, it just feels very light and wearable. Like I'm not really wearing anything. So really, really enjoyed these. The new bronzer I think gave a really pretty bronze and it looks beautiful on the skin. I just don't know if I'll be keeping it. The packaging for bronzer to me just doesn't make sense. Mascara. I've tried it before. It's a great tried and true mascara if you're in the market. You guys know I love Future Do. And I would highly recommend this fuzz shade if you're not scared of the poor <laughs> Yuka rating. And yeah, oh, the pencil. What else did I love? The pencil. I'm keeping this. This is really good. Boy Brides are classic. Blushes are a classic. Mybomb.com, a classic. But yeah. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on some of these new launches or 
tried and true Glossier products. Love to hear your thoughts and if you're a fellow fan of some of my favorites. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!